Welcome back. Now, today is World Psy Sorry. Psoriasis. Psoriasis, there you go. A chronic skin condition that affects 73,000 people in Ireland. Joining us today are Dr. Anne-Marie Tobin, consultant dermatologist at Tala Hospital and 10-year-old Pearl Tear, who's currently being treated in Temple Street Hospital for psoriasis. Good morning to you both. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. I know you're looking at the cupcakes and Simon's telling well, you about them. You can have one afterwards, okay? I have Is that all right? a cupcake, didn't I? And then you'll enjoy it more, won't you? Yeah, exactly. Um, Dr. Anne-Marie Tobin, can I come to you first, yes, please? Yes, of course. Consultant dermatologist. Um, Lots of different skin disorders, you see them all. Tell us what exactly psoriasis is and what causes it. So psoriasis is a chronic um, skin condition where patients get sort of red, scaly patches. So usually it'll start out on the scalp. So scaly patches, you know, behind the ears, and behind the neck, and then on the arms, and, or sorry, on the elbows and on the knees. But actually you can get it anywhere. Um, and it affects about 73,000, so that's about one in three of the population in Ireland. So it's relatively common. And uh, is it genetic or...? Yes. Right. So there's three things that <clears throat> kind of feed into it. So there's a genetic component to it, but it's not clear genetics. It's not definite that if your parents have it, that you'll definitely have it. So about one in 30% have a history, a family history of psoriasis. And it may not be a direct you know, your mom or your dad, your sister, it could be cousins or, or aunts. And then environmental factors can feed into it. So some people, their psoriasis is triggered by sore throats, strep, sore throats. And then alcohol and smoking can trigger it and make it worse. And then the important thing or the main driver of it then is the immune system. So two things happen. One, the keratinocytes, which are the cells that make up our skin, they shed much more quickly. So in a normal person, it takes 28 days for a keratinocyte to move to the top and shed off because we're shedding loads of skin all mm -hmm. the time. So that happens. And then, com so that's what gives you the, the scaliness. And then combined with that, then you have um, this inflammatory, the immune system is activated and you have these immune cells that move into the skin and that's what makes it red and itchy. Uh, in, in just in terms of, because we have a little man who uh, has eczema. Is it a derision of eczema? Can you be confused no, with it? No. Does it Can present differently? It? No, it usually presents differently. Um, <clears throat> mind you, it, you know, people were taught in medical school psoriasis isn't itchy. You know, that eczema is itchy, but psoriasis yeah. is not. But that's completely not the case, and Pearl will confirm yes. that. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it can <clears throat> be. But the difference between it... The, there's more definition between the skin involved. Right. Like in eczema, you can have a lot more. It can just be it's a gradation. Bit, isn't yeah, it? yeah, it's not quite as red or as angry. Yes. Whereas the plaques and psoriasis just stand out from the skin more. Okay, okay. Pearl, can we come to you because you were telling me during the ad break that you you're ten now. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what class are you in? Fifth. Fifth class. Wow, big girl. So when did you get it first? When you were four. Four. Okay, and where do you have it? On your arms? Basically everywhere. Everywhere, okay. Yeah. Because a doctor was saying that it's usually, well, it can be most common on knees and elbows, but it can turn up, you were saying, on your face as well? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you, how do you manage it yourself? Well, I put creams on. Okay, so you've got special creams? Yeah, parent gel, and I don't know the rest. Yeah, <laughs> but you have them, and do you do that yourself? Well, my mum helps me, kind of, of like... Of course. I get it on my back as well, so my mum helps me with my back and all. OK. And does it be itchy? Yeah. Yeah, so that is, as you were saying, Doctor, it's, yeah. it does present itself as, as itchy as and well. And it, it can keep you awake at night with yeah. the itch, which, is, which eczema also can. Yeah. But you're managing it very well, I think, because we can't see anything on your arms unless we look really, really closely, and even then it's only a tiny bit. So I think you're probably a really good case yeah. where you're looking after your skin... Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. I know Pearl had um, a series of UV treatments. Mm. So would that be quite a popular treatment for anyone in, in her shoes? So you can almost describe it like a pyramid of treatments. So with mild psoriasis, you'd start off with creams. So something like, we often use coal tar. It's very old fashioned, but actually works. Mm. Not all patients like it. Uh, and then mild mm. to moderate 
topical steroids and then there's also vitamin D analogues. And then if people become more extensive, the next line of treatment is when they come in to us and we treat them with phototherapy. So Pearl has had phototherapy, so it means attending a dermatology department and we have phototherapy distributed right around the country. In fact, we're trying to get it more out there. Mm -hmm. um, usually involves either coming twice a week or three times a week, and it could be for anything up to 10 weeks. So it can be quite a commitment, you know, sure. for people who are trying to work. And, and, and in terms coming. of, of, of long-term, um, is it something that you're, you're going to have for the rest of your life? Can, is it something that, that can go? No, no, not necessarily. So the, with, you'll always have the tendency to yes. have it. But psoriasis can wax and wane. So just because you have it now and it, it might be severe, that it doesn't mean it's, it's going to be like that for the rest of your mm. life. But there are triggers, Doctor, aren't there? Well, stress is, is, is a trigger. It, yeah. it definitely is. Not in every patient, but certainly a lot of patients will report that their psoriasis gets worse, you know, uh, coming up to an exam or stressful work. And certainly all of us would have the odd patient whereby they'd know psoriasis where they were involved in a car accident or something really traumatic yeah, yeah. and suddenly they develop psoriasis. And environmental triggers as well, that would like cold weather, because I know no, with eczema that Not really help. for psoriasis. What you can see with psoriasis, and Pearl might confirm this or not, is usually psoriasis gets better in, the, in summertime, but not for everyone. So the sunshine helps it a bit. Does sunshine help for you, Pearl? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah? OK. Yeah. Plus, you'd be sitting on a beach. You know, yeah. And you were eight when you had that treatment. Was, was that a good idea, do you think? Yeah. Yeah? You felt better afterwards? Yeah. Yeah. And I assume that's a treatment that adults can go through as well. Oh, yes, yeah. So with the phototherapy, what you're hoping for after the treatment is that people stay clear for anything up to six to six to 12 months. Some people get much longer out of it. And then in those patients where the phototherapy isn't working or where they've only, they've used a lot of it, you go on to systemic treatments and there's absolutely fantastic treatments available for psoriasis So get treatment and, and seek it mm. out. The Say Absolutely. Something campaign is there for a reason. Yes, so with the Say Something campaign is, um, you know, people are very familiar with acne. So you'll never get someone coming up to someone and saying, gosh, you've got dreadful acne. Mm. Whereas with psoriasis, people aren't aware of what it is. Yes. So they see people, they're standing behind people with it on their scalp in the supermarket and they're, you know, giving them odd looks. So <clears throat> what the Say Something campaign is, one, to raise public awareness about psoriasis. So if you think it affects one in three of the population, yeah. that's a lot of people mm -hmm. out there. And two, to also empower patients themselves to be able to say, well, oh, I see, or, you know, this is psoriasis, it's not contagious. Um, so that, you know, it's an assertive way of of, uh, of dealing with yeah. a difficult situation for them. And there's a nice video on the website, uh, the Say Something website on the Irish Skin Foundation by psychologist Kate Russo. And it's actually very, um, it's very, you know, it's very practical. Brilliant. And we'll pop that website up on our Super. Facebook Thank page. Thank you. There it is. Ladies, there. thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you. Well it's done, cupcake girls. time. <laughs> you can enjoy You're the on. cupcake now. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Now, we've got some spooktacular fashion coming up after the break. Stay with us.